All right, so the, the question becomes key matchups for this. How do the Browns get a win, a much-needed win, if they want to be um, in the mix for that? Let's be honest. If they don't win this, the AFC North is kind of a pipe dream at this point. Yeah, if you want a chance at the division, you've got to get this one. Uh, you know, this season certainly isn't over. If you lose, you can get in uh, the playoffs with the schedule that they have to play after this. But you can't go one and four in the division, right? So uh, this has to be a win if they want. And it in, it really presents them a great opportunity, Dave, because um, it gives them the ability to – this would be a massive statement win if they could find a way to do it. So um, I do think that we will still see a rather conservative early start offensively. And, like, I don't think that the Browns want to get in a shootout with the Ravens, right? So uh, they are going to try, even with their tackles, to be efficient in the run game, uh, play ball control, try to keep Lamar on the sidelines, take their shots when they're there. Um, and, you know, Deshaun has done a relatively good job in the last two times he's played a full game of protecting the football, right? No turnovers. So, um Take the shots when they're there. Try to run the ball. Uh, you can't play from behind, right? Like, uh, if they get behind in this game and they are in a negative game script, they're in trouble. So you have to keep it neutral or ahead, right? Uh, we know Stefanski's good at, at the scripted uh, first 15 scripted plays. We'll see what this Ravens defense is showing uh, them. But the, the, the recipe here is... It has to be turnovers, right? Turnovers have been so critical. So if you can run the ball effectively and play a clean game, stay ahead. Of, like it was a couple weeks ago, they never got behind the sticks. It was always third and three, right? I think it was the Seattle game, right? They were in third and three like every single third down. That's kind of what you're looking for, right? Like you can't be in first and 15s, holding calls, stuff like that, which is why I think you're still going to see a lot of running on early downs and things like that. Um, it's a kitchen sink game, though. Look for a trick play here or there. Try to get a cheap one. Um, and you got to lean hard with your defense and hope that Schwartz can dial up an absolute gem of a game plan that uh, gives Lamar problems. Listen, I think the Browns can win this game. I do. Um, I think that the Ravens have won um, a lot lately, but... Uh, for some reason, they dominate NFC opponents. I don't know. He's like 17-1 and one against NFC opponents or something crazy like that. And they've been uh, kind of taking them to the woodshed. But this is an AFC North divisional game. I expect it to be close. I expect the Browns to have a chance to make plays to win the game. The difference this year from past years is they've been making some of those plays, right? That's how. That's why they are 5-3 and three with P.J. Walker starting, you know, three games. So... Uh, you have guys on this team that will make big plays. Uh, you need a couple of them. Um, every game is decided by those, you know, four, five, six plays that will turn the tables. Uh, the Browns have to make those plays in a close game, uh, and they certainly can. Uh, so I think it's a winnable game. I think it would be massive, uh, but everything's got to go right. Turnovers will be the killer here in, in their demise. If they turn it over offensively, the Ravens will take advantage and, and they'll be in trouble. But uh, play clean offensively, even if it's not explosive, even if it's a little conservative, it'll keep you in the game and give your defense a chance to make plays. I agree with you wholeheartedly, uh, and, and I'll take it a step further. Deshaun Watson, the reason you got him is to go make two or three of those five plays that you need to win games like this one.